Are people waking up? Are we saying, good morning, God? Or are we saying, good God, it's morning? Bummer. I'm out of that one. Got to move to the backup probiotics. Order some new on Amazon. Good morning. Are you starting to wake up now? Are you starting to wake up and wag your tail? Are you awake now? Are you awake, Anna? Are you awake? Are you awake in there? Are you ready to go to the bathroom? You ready to go potty? Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello. Good morning. You're awake. Good morning. Okay, let's go. Morning, Bob. Good morning. <laughs> Alright, headed back. Today's message is about rapport, building rapport. What is rapport? Rapport is connecting with people at a deep level. Why is that important? Because we happen to be in a world with people. Not gorillas, not apes. Well, the gorillas and apes are here too, but it is about building rapport. People don't care until they know how much you care. All right, so check this out. We're flying around the Ballantyne Village here. You can see over here all the flags are out for the putting green. I wonder how many people take time out during the middle of the day to, uh, to get out there and putt a little bit and sharpen their blade. Anyway, talking about rapport, why is it important? I think understanding where people are coming from, right? It makes such a difference to understand where someone is. If you're gonna move anyone or any situation or any environment or culture or sales organization, you gotta be able to understand where people are coming from. And building rapport is around finding a common ground, right? A common interest. What might be important to us or to you or to somebody else might be completely different to someone. Maybe it's important to you to hit numbers, right? As a manager. But maybe your team, someone on your team, it's important to play good music or to play in a band, John, right? Or rowing or something else. So as leaders, we've got to understand what's important to other people before we can help them move, right? Move in the direction of where they want to go. So rapport, again, is about connecting at a deeper level. <clears throat> and there's several strategies to this, whether you're in sales or management or just in life, in a relationship, if you're married or you're dating or you have friends or you interact in the world, rapport is key. Because again, people don't care most of the time until they know how much you care. So if you're going to really move someone or have an impact on someone, you've got to have rapport, connection. So finding that common ground, what's important to them? Where are they coming from? And you know what? Sometimes that takes a little time. We don't just get there immediately. We have to be like Curious George, asking questions about their past and about their future. And what's their why? But there are a few key things that we can do here. You know, one is around our language. What percentage of our communication do you think is the words we use, the actual words we use? Only 7%. What about the physiology, the way we move our bodies? Yeah, the way we move our bodies, 55%. So how are you carrying yourself and your physiology and the way you're moving? And the remaining 38% tonalities, right? So if I'm like, hey, you're awesome. You're amazing, right? My tonalities and my physiology don't say that, right? But my words are saying it. So be congruent when you're building rapport start to understand where you're coming from and match where people are. If they're auditory, that's more particular about their words, then be in that place, right? More articulate, a little bit more particular about the words that you use. Oh, I got a big wad of grass there. And now we're going through the mud pile. Oh, hello.
Yeah, it's true. That's that's Anna's bed. Look at it. She's spoiled. That's her own little bed. Look at that. What is she doing? Oh, she's just hanging out with the yeah. elephant. She's hanging out with Mr. I elephant. I will tell you what my husband says when he says hanging out. Oh boy. <laughs> Remember, it only takes one right key to change everything. Just one right key. These look like they're about the same, don't they? Well, let's check it out. Just one right key. Man, that doesn't work. What about this one? Wow. Just one right key changes everything. How fast? That fast. One right key changes everything. Oh man, there's the UPS. <laughs> this is a good day. What? It's mail time. I, and I love these blades. I'll tell you, I have like, I have like 10 of these because I love the ability to create leverage versus effort. When I open these boxes, what is it? Oh man, what could it be? Ooh, these are vlogging accessories and Seriously, we're gonna get multiple angles and make it happen. This is gonna be awesome. We're taking it to another level. Wow, we got all kinds of stuff. Tripod, mounting, extra, extra storage. Perfect. All right, what else we got here? Sometimes I forget that I ordered this. This, this is great. This is a charger for the iPhone. When Lori and I were in Manhattan, one of the phones died and I saw these and I thought, wow, that is a great idea. And so this is called an iWalk. Hello. Hello, 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 Richard. <laughs> and the cons. Seriously, this doesn't get this is like crazy good. It's really good. Wow. 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 Edie, are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. We are set, definitely set. <laughs>